And now, the general weather around Alaska. Tomorrow's fire danger graphic for spruce showing uh, again extreme fire danger up here in the Yukon Flats and down on the north side of the Alaska Range here into at least the upper Tanana Valley area with very high fire danger to the west, east of that, and of course around the uh, all the Yukon Flats here into the Koyukuk Valley areas. High fire danger all the way out to the Seward Peninsula and down along the Yukon River on out into the delta there and also high to very high fire danger in the central Copper River Basin. Satellite imagery showing a lot of moisture uh, coming out of Canada, British Columbia, into the panhandle today, bringing moderate to heavy rain in that area with uh, mid and high level clouds pulling westward here across the Copper River Basin, actually into the uh, Eastern Kenai Peninsula areas with uh, Dry conditions for the most part down to the south over the pan with a lot of thick cirrus there and cloudy skies. A lot of sunshine here, central western part of the state, Seward Peninsula, all the way down into Bristol Bay today with uh, temperatures rising back into the well into the 80s, in some cases lower 90s in the uh, southwest interior. About the same here, central and east side. A little cooler in the Yukon Flats with some west northwest winds blowing there. That pushed the hottest conditions down into the Tanana Valley areas over toward the uh, Eagle area. Out to the west, clouds starting to increase here along the southwest coast, head of a low pressure area out over the southwest Bering Sea. It's been there for several days. And the front right here beginning to approach the eastern Aleutians, bringing rain, fog, drizzle to the central Aleutians, about a quarter of an inch falling Adak and Atka today, back to the west there. And for uh, rolling this through, you can see this moisture mostly shifting off to the northwest here, but eventually it'll start to edge in a little bit more, especially when this front kicks eastward. That'll push this in, bring a chance of rain tomorrow into the southwest coast. And again, this area will start to swing off to the southeast here. And it uh, should be a pretty dry day over south central Alaska tomorrow, much like this afternoon, maybe with a little more clearing tomorrow with uh, isolated widely scattered thunderstorms developing along the Alaska Range, Talkeetnas, into the Copper River Basin. Sunny and, or mostly sunny and quite hot in the interior. Again, highs uh, mid 80s to lower 90s with uh, warm temperatures again all the way down into Bristol Bay and out to the Yukon Cuscoan Delta area. And uh, actually, let me jump ahead here for tonight. We've got rain on the increase here over the, south, uh, over the southern southeast coast, stays wet in the north, but rainfall rates should diminish. And dry here across all of southern Alaska, this low tracking eastward staying south of Kodiak Island. And this front will push rain into the Pribilofs to the uh, eastern Aleutians tonight, pushing up to the western Alaska Peninsula tomorrow with showers and clouds out behind. So not much change for the Bering Sea, a lot of clouds and IFR conditions, mostly south of the St. Lawrence Island area down to the Aleutians. And then for Wednesday, high pressure up over Kotzebue Sound, light winds, dry conditions. Again, sunny and hot, as I mentioned uh, for today, about the same as tomorrow, maybe a little bit warmer, maybe not lower 90s, a little more widespread than what we saw today here in the interior. And again, these scattered, isolated thunderstorms developing in the afternoon over south central or southern Alaska here, especially the Alaska Range. And partly sunny skies, uh, hopefully at least for south central Alaska, with a little more sun tomorrow, what we saw today down to Kodiak Island in toward Bristol Bay. And now finally, this front reaches the southwest coast, Nunavak Island, especially with a chance of rain there. And uh, this system here beginning to make a move to the northeast spreading rain again increasing throughout the day for the Pribilof Islands. Wind's not too bad though, wet for the eastern Aleutians, dry back to the west and drying out over the southern southeast coast. Showers on the decrease throughout the day tomorrow and taking a look at Thursday we'll see this system makes a good jog right up to the northeast, good southwest flow pushing that right in. A uh, good shot of rain coming into the Yukon Cuscoan Delta, Bristol Bay, Kodiak Island, starting to increase over the southern Cuscoan Valley. And uh, showers on the increase of the western Alaska range, especially in the afternoon. Should stay dry, partly sunny on Thursday for south central Alaska, at least one more day. And not too bad for the Copper River Basin. Temperatures a little lower down into the uh, upper 60s to lower to mid 70s 
but uh, still pretty warm, a little cooler in the interior, and some widespread thunderstorms possibly breaking out in the central interior here, anywhere in the green shaded areas, scattering out in the Brooks Range, dry from the north slope on that to the Arctic coast. Partly sunny, risk of an isolated shower for the panhandle with light winds there, so much drier for that area. And other system here bringing uh, more rain into the central Aleutians. Looks like on Friday, this will shift right on in. Thursday night and Friday, bring some solid rain right into the central interior, all of southern Alaska, eventually pushing in toward the Copper River Basin late Friday and Friday night. Otherwise, uh, for the lows tonight, 50s to mid 60s in the interior, quite mild. 40s to near 50 for the Arctic coast, mild for up there as well, about the same for the Bering Sea and the Aleutians, upper 40s and lower 50s for the Panhandle. Highs for tomorrow, again, uh, mid 80s to lower 90s, hottest here. Fairbanks up to uh, the Yukon Flats, eastward to Eagle, Northway Toke into the lower 90s, and uh, near 80 for the Susitna Valley, lower to mid 80s for the Copper River Basin and 65 to 75 for the Kenai Peninsula, mid-60s Kodiak Island, into the 70s for Bristol Bay, and also uh, Nome high 72. Looks like uh, some pretty good 70s for the North Slope as well, all the way out to the Arctic coast, uh, Dead Horse and Prudhoe Bay in the mid-70s for the highs. Otherwise, for the lows, mild, mid-60s in the central interior areas, Upper 50s, southern Alaska here, lower 50s along the coast to 45 for Nunavak Island, otherwise in the 40s for the Bering Sea. Upper 30s, central Arctic coast, lower 50s for the southeast coast. And the highs, a little cooler Thursday, but still way up there, 85 to 90 for the eastern interior, hottest in the Yukon Flats, and lower 80s for the Tanana Valley. And uh, again, 65 to 75 south central Alaska, 75 to 80 in the Copper River Basin. And in the 60s for the southeast coast, 50s for the Bering Sea.